When my staff showed me the photo in question yesterday, I was seeing it for the first time. I did not purchase the EVMS yearbook, and I was unaware of what was on my page. When I was confronted with the images yesterday, I was appalled that they appeared on my page, but I believe then and now that I am not either of the people in that photo. There you have it, the governor of Virginia, Ralph North, and they're addressing the media moments ago from the executive mansion in Richmond, denying that he was the person that was seen in a racist photo there from his yearbook under his name back in 1984. Let's bring in the NAACP president and CEO, Derek Johnson, who is joining us. And Derek, you had a tweet early on yesterday saying blackface in any manner is always racist and never okay. You listened to the governor there trying to defend himself and denying what we thought might have happened back in 1984. And you think what? Yeah, I think, you know, our position is, is the same. He should resign. Whether that was him in blackface if, or he was at the party or in the room or the fact that he just admitted he was in blackface in, doing a Michael Jackson impersonation, uh, all of those things are insensitive. Uh, blackface in 1984 was racist then and it is racist now. Uh, and if he's unable to see that, he's not fit to truly lead the state of Virginia uh, if he's that tone deaf. Yeah, what did you make of this explanation itself? So uh, he said that it, it took him some time to look at that photo and realize that it was not him um, and that it was not him in the hood. How believable did you find his statement? I think, I think it, it, the point is mute whether it was him in the hood or not. The fact that that photo existed in a medical school yearbook on his page is a problem. The, uh, the fact that he did not object to the, the blackface or someone in a Klan's hood uh, in his yearbook is a problem. So I don't think there is no way you can spin this to say that, well, it wasn't me, therefore it's okay. None of this is okay. I was in the 10th grade in 1984. I know what black I know what blackface meant to an African American in 1984 it was offensive it was dehumanizing it was a character in which they would portray African Americans in a very negative light and if he didn't understand that as a 25 year old medical student then we have a we had a problem then with him and we have a problem now if he cannot accept the fact that is wrong no matter how you slice the cake can you believe that you're addressing something like this in 2019 during Black History Month you know, considering uh, the most recent events over the last two years, uh, unfortunately, I can't believe it. You think about Charlottesville, you think about uh, uh, Kentucky, you think about Pittsburgh, uh, you think about what just happened to Jesse Smollett in Chicago. Unfortunately, we have racism germinating from the White House, and, and as a result of the tone of intolerance that's been established by this nation, both in words and in policy, we have a problem, and I can't believe it. And of course, we haven't heard anything from the White House it's, itself or the president who has been traveling through Mar-a-Lago and he went golfing today, we're told, with Tiger Woods. What would you like the president to say about this? Obviously, and I'm not sure if you can hear me, what would you like the president to say, Derek, about this? Um, knowing that it's not a member of his party, what would you like to hear from the White House? Well, you know, quite frankly, I wish the president would resign. Uh, here's an individual who took children from their parents at the border. Here's an individual who took food off the table over a border wall we don't need. Here's an individual who set a tone of intolerance. So I don't know if there's anything the president can say. I can list multiple things he can do. Racism is not about comments. It's about public policy. It's about the impact you have on individual lives. So if the president of the United United States want to lean in, he needs to lean in with a set of po policy priorities that reflect the need of interest of all Americans and not just a narrow uh, group of individuals who truly do not represent the majority mm -hmm. of American citizens, black or white or Latino. And we have heard some bipartisan calls for Ralph Northam to resign. We'll see how it plays out. The NAACP president and CEO, Derek Johnson, joining us there from the heart of Mississippi. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.